For years now, I've kept odd bits of hardware and screws, especially like metric stuff uh, and machine screws, uh, Clecos, that sort of thing, in these plastic uh, containers. And they just kind of get thrown around on different shelves and they're hard to get to. And they don't really fit on top of my other uh, organization shelf bin thing. So I thought I'd do something about it. A few months ago, I drew this up um, to put the different boxes in. And uh, as I come back to it like five months later, um, I figured out that I wanted to change the design a little bit. And so instead of doing like a single ridge here, do shelves with inserts. So I did have to do a little bit more figuring. Um, I'd actually already cut out the tops and the sides and the back. Uh, so what I, I, I don't have any material that I've wasted, which is good. But I need to reorg how I'm going to cut out the dados. So let me let me get to it. <clears throat> safety infomercial. Wear safety glasses. Wear ear protection. Everything looks good as I did a dry fit. Everything fits together and goes where it's supposed to go. Nothing's twisted or angry. Had one little screw up while cutting the uh, the dados. Um, I would like to say that nobody will ever see it. It'll be fine, except for it's the most prominent cut probably on the whole thing. Yeah. And a couple drops of oil to keep my gun purring along. Um, quick tip, anytime you use a nail gun, even just once, add a couple drops of oil. Like every time. Like every time you use a nail gun, add a couple drops of oil. I just realized I forgot something kind of important. The cutouts for the uh, for the handle. Super low tech. Drill a hole and cut the rest of it out rough with the jigsaw, and then uh, take it over to the oscillating sander. Now these inch and a quarter brad nails are just there to hold it until uh, until I get the screws in because I'm going to screw in um, all the, the tops and the sides and everything and then screw the back on because uh, it's going to be mounted to the wall and there's going to be a considerable amount of weight in there so I just it, it may be a little bit overbuilt maybe possibly and I'll be damned look at that. I forgot to sand this one. Shit. Everyone else, every other one, but that one. Damn it. I'm using some reclaimed deck screws. I actually tore out like 110 feet of fencing uh, last year, and I have just pounds and pounds of these deck screws. And uh, they're pretty good at holding stuff, and they're pretty weather tight still, so gonna reuse them. Well, that 
that's what I like to see. So everything fits really well. Um, actually, I'm only going to fill up two, four, six, seven of these spaces. I still have three open. Um, they've made these uh, these plastic cases for the last 20 years, so I, I think I'm okay. I think I'll be able to find more. But yeah, it worked out really nice. One little oops. Somebody forgot to sand this one. Dumbass. I don't quite have a big enough scrap piece uh, for the back. I've got I've got some half sheets of plywood, but I really want to use them for something else. So I've got <laughs> three uh, three different pieces from three different oh, projects, buys. Man, I don't know. Probably three different stores. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, biscuit join these together, um, cut them to size, and then uh, this will be the back for the uh, the tote bin. Mm, I'm going to reiterate, I feel that executives and or middle management who say put stickers on plywood, yeah, there's a special place in hell for you. Funny story, I got robbed a few years ago. And one of the first power tools, or the first power tool that I bought um, after insurance took care of me, was the biscuit joiner oh yes i replaced it with the exact same model i uh, i love this thing putting panels together putting fascia together that sort of thing absolutely unstoppable back is on all the screws are in and it doesn't look like i had any bust through because i drilled them in the wrong place <laughs> well it looks like i need to move uh, my drill organizer down just uh, about 10 inches and i'm gonna have to slide it over to keep it away from the plug that the battery charger plugs into and that the air cleaner plugs into so down and over okay <music> done the tote organizer is in the battery tool organizer has been moved down on top of where I keep um, all the rest of my SAE hardware um, my little snafu <laughs> with a battery charger uh, is fixed so yeah really happy with uh, with how this worked out just giggles just like that <laughs> 